Hey there, everybody. Today, we're going to learn how to install Kodi, formerly XBMC, onto a Windows 7 machine. Okay, and then we're going to add in all of the good add-ons and goodies that's going to make that a powerhouse media center. So let's get started. First off, we're going to go to www.tvaddons.ag, as you can see on the screen there. We'll go to this website. And from the home page, they're going to have a number of options. Uh, the first option we're going to do is to install, basically, install K XBMC or Kodi. So click on the install link. Takes you to the install page here. Under the install page, it's going to give you a uh, number of options for operating systems. Obviously, we're going to pick on the Windows operating system. Click install. It'll take us to our download page. The download page. We're looking for Kodi 14.2 Helix, which is there. And again, they have all of the operating systems <laughs> for some reason. Let's go ahead and pick on the Windows operating system to download Helix. That's the current build of Kodi. And we'll save it. Uh, I like to save to my desktop. So I'll save it to my desktop and wait for the download to complete. And if you'd like to uh, pause the video in the meantime, uh, just go ahead and hit pause, let your file download, and uh, then we'll pick it up once it's all downloaded, like I have here. We have Kodi all downloaded. Let's run the executable installation file and install Kodi on our machine. And once that's installed, we'll continue on if you would like to pause the video now. And we are installed. Let's click on the tick box for Run Kodi. And then uh, click on our Finish button to finish this install and get it going. Now we're going to see a nice, pretty interface come in here. The Kodi interface is very nice. And this is just the basic skin that they have uh, pre-installed. So even so, looks very nice, very easy to navigate. As you can see, I scroll along using my, uh, my track wheel on the mouse. Okay, first things first, though, we're going to go and get uh, a source for our add-ons, okay? And in the place to do that is in File Manager. We're going to add an online source. Click Add Source. Double-click Add Source. And in here, we're going to click once and type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot TV add-ons dot AG. That's going to take us to the Fusion Installer. Okay, once, once we're done adding the source here, type in dot .fusion. That way, Fusion will always be at the top of the list of sources. We won't go having to search for it. <laughs> Click OK. All right, we're good to go. We can jump out of this uh, file manager here by hitting the Home button. Next, we go to Settings, and we click on Add-ons. And under Add-ons, we're going to click on... Yeah, click the OK button. We're going to click on Install from Zip File. Click here, then we'll double click on our Fusion source. Where it says start here, that's where we're going to click next. And then we're going to go to Hub Wizard. Okay. Click on Hub Wizard, which will download and install the Hub Wizard add on for us, which will be stored under the programs uh, section of Kodi. Okay, so this will be installed in just a few seconds. So we'll click on Home. We'll go over, jump on over to Programs. There's the uh, add-on enabled. Go over to Programs. Click on Config Wizard. Again, Operating System Choices. Click on Windows. And yes, let them customize it. Why don't you? Now sit back and relax. Pause the video and uh, we'll come back when it's finished. And it's in, and look how pretty, look how pretty this all is. All right, let's take a look at some stuff, huh? We're going to go over to videos, and we'll see that uh, some nice juicy add-ons have been added. Some very powerhouse ones, like one channel has been added. Um, and uh, the, on the front page there, you'll see shortcuts. These are shortcuts, one channel, which is also PrimeWire, Genesis, Project Free TV. Genesis is my personal favorite, okay? For uh, regular TV shows and everything, Phoenix has a lot of choices as far as playlists go. Playlists of like different genres of movies. 
and I'm talking specific genres of movies, um, and down to details like Cheech and Chong movies or the Elvis movies, thrillers, you know, things like this and things of that nature. Um, here in this uh, particular playlist uh, menu, we can scroll it down. You can see all the stuff that's available, the retro TV, the documentaries. Let's take a look at retro. Under retro TV, what do we got? What do we got? Well, looky here. What do I spy but Barney Miller? Oh, my God. I, I can actually hear the theme song in my head, I think. <laughs> Let's check out episode one, which I don't think I ever saw, because I don't even think I was a gleam in my daddy's bloodshot eye by that time, meaning I wasn't born yet. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. We click on the uh, link there, Ramon one. One uh, X one, which stands for season one, episode one, and we're gonna let Cody do its magic. We see that it's working there in the bottom right hand corner. I believe this is going to attempt to autoplay it. I'll show you later about the different source choices we have, but here it's set up to autoplay. So, oh, looky here, there it is. If it's buffering, as you can see up at the top of the screen, to get it going faster, go ahead and click on the play button there. Click. And enjoy. Bonnie Miller, circa 1970-something or other, right? Ain't that a trip? So be as obscure as you want when you're searching for shows, okay? Uh, chances are you're going to be able to find it. I have yet to be stumped. I am completely serious. Everything that I have searched for and attempted to find, I've found and watched. Uh, as I said here, look uh, look at these genres. Johnny Carson, Cheech and Chong, Best Westerns Ever Made. CIA, and look at that, Elvis Presley filmography. I'd like to watch some blue suede shoes, huh? Ridiculous. There it is. Fancy that. I'll pass. Anyway, let's go back and look at some other stuff, huh? Genesis, my preferred add-on. Because it has a My Genesis section, the My Genesis section... Um, is a place where you can store your favorites and everything. This is the movie section here. You can also store favorite movies. Okay, so now let's take a look at what's playing in the theaters right now. Now, take take in mind that most of these are going to be cam copies, camera copies. They're not going to be very good quality. Sometimes you get surprised, though, and sometimes they're award show screeners. You know, so, you know, always just take a look. You know, you can tap on it and check just to see. So you never want to, because uh, like I saw The Expendables 3, like three months before it was released or something like that. can't remember. It was something ridiculous. Lots of UFC can be found on uh, on uh, Cody. Um, let's do a quick example here. Home Sweet Hell with Katherine Heigl. <laughs> that chick, I don't know, made every movie she's made has been bad except for Knocked Up, I think. Uh, we'll take a look here. Love Will Ferrell, though. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and try this HQ. Move Reel. It's a good source, as far as I know. Ooh, it looks like it's going to play for us right away here. Okay. Cue the Jeopardy music. Do, 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 do. I promise, folks, it'll come anytime. Let's go ahead and press play. So there we got a nice, clean copy of a movie. It's obviously a DVD or something like that that was uploaded. So that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's see some actual... Uh, People, though. Come on, guys. I'm trying to show some people some stuff here. There's Will. Yeah. Cue the hot chick now. <laughs> All right, so we're good to go there. Now, let's get out of here. Um, remember, backspace key takes you back a menu, so you can go backspace key all the way to the beginning. Um, we're going to go ahead in here into Genesis and do a search uh, for my TV show. Okay, Seinfeld, one of my all-time faves. There it is popping right up. Right-click on Seinfeld. Right-click on it. Click on Add to Favorites. Now you won't have to do search anymore. 
It'll be right in the section called My Genesis. Okay, so let's take a look here. Genesis, My Genesis. And in there you have movies and TV. We'll click Favorite TV and there's our Seinfeld. So anything uh, like a series that you want to watch a lot, you know, you know you'll be watching plenty of episodes. Go ahead and pop that in your favorites. Okay. Let's take a look here. Uh, season 7, Episode 1, The Engagement. Yes, I remember that one. Oh, it looks like uh, we're still kind of updating here too, guys. When you first install... Um, the TV add-ons, as you can see down there in the bottom right, stuff is updated. There's a lot of stuff that it, uh, that it updates because these add-ons get updated very frequently. So, sometimes, like it looks like in the case of Genesis here, it hasn't been fully updated yet. So, what I'm going to do is take a look at Season 1 instead. Maybe that uh, got updated uh, ahead of Season 7. We'll take a look. The very first episode of Seinfeld... The Seinfeld Chronicles, that was going to be the title, by the way, of the of the series. But, uh, you know, they smartened up and didn't, didn't use that. A lot of copies available. No HD, though, curiously, right? Not so curiously. Filmed in the 90s. It was filmed for TV. It was filmed in a 4x3 format. So you're not going to find an HD copy. So let's go with our HQ copy here. High quality, right? You know, uh, this first episode, the very first lines of dialogue is him talking about some stupid button on his shirt, George's shirt. And uh, the very last lines of the <laughs> the last episode in season nine is him talking about the buttons on George's shirt. Began and end that way. And there's our Seinfeld. Okay. So now you guys know how to save a favorite. Okay. Let's pop on back to the home menu here. Um, Yeah. I'm going to show you how to uh, enable some stuff here. In video and subtitles section, if you like to use subtitles, just scroll down towards the bottom of this menu here. Videos and settings, subtitles. You'll see the default TV service, default movie service. It'll They'll both say none, so you got to click on that and define a service, okay? So you click load more. You'll click uh, Open Subtitles is the one I suggest. It works every time for me. Once that's downloaded and enabled, Backspace button to go back a menu. Default TV service, we'll click Open. Default Movie Service, we'll click the same one. And there's an option there above those two that you can auto-download for subtitles so you don't have to turn them on every time. They just turn on by themselves. And you can also disable them if, if you don't want to uh, want to be using subtitles anymore. Okay, now let's uh, oh yes, uh, let's see here. You have a phone. You can download an app on your phone called the Kodi Remote Control. Very easy to use. This is the process you have to do first. You have to allow control of Kodi via HTTP. Okay, in this section here, um, you can go ahead and take out the username unless you're you know I don't see any reason for it. Because you'll just have to put that username in when you uh, set up the remote control after you download it. So um, most of the time, the remote control will have an option where you can, they'll auto scan for instances of Kodi in the vicinity. They got to be in the same Wi-Fi network. Okay, so it'll probably find it for you. Just tap it and put in your. Uh, it'll if you don't have a username there, you won't even have to bother with any of that. Okay, this is a place where you can change the skin. You know the background there. Skins are, uh, are they, they make it to look completely different sometimes. So, all of those are available. Um, let's make it look like really different here. Let's uh, try. We're going to try. Yeah, the one. Uh, let's see. It kind of looks like an Apple TV is here. Yeah, yeah. No, there it is. Yeah, let's make it look like an Apple TV. So we'll install that and have a. Have a look at this. See if we like it any better. So you can try all of these or none of these if you like. I personally, I think if you're uh, still a noob with Cody, I'd stick with the Confluence, the one that came with the TV add-on uh, package because uh, it's the easiest to navigate. These other ones can be a little confusing sometimes. 
Okay, so it's going to uh, ask us here in a moment if we want to keep this. There it is. Let's switch to that skin, and you'll watch my screen change. There it is. Yes, we'll keep it. Now let's jump on back to uh, home. All the way back, all the way back. And that's what it looks like now. Quite a difference, isn't it? Oh, it's popping up and down like it's a phone, reachability. <laughs> so yeah, it's all the same thing, except it just looks different. The uh, menu items are different, set up differently. So there's our video add-ons, and there they are. They're still available. Oh, one channel. I don't know if you've heard of one channel or not. It's, it used to be called Prime Wire. That was one of the OG things on the internet there where you could watch movies and TV shows and everything. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're available here. One of the first ones came for XBMC. They're, uh, I use them, you know, for like movies and things of that nature quite a bit. They just seem to have everything. Anytime I need to search for something. Hey, Jean-Claude. Van Damme. We'll take a look for the muscles from Brussels. I may have misspelled his name, and that's why that's all we're getting is behind closed doors <laughs> with no sources available. So screw it, you know. Let's uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try some genres here. If you're a cartoon fan, there's plenty of those available on uh, Cody also. And if you want to dig a little bit, there's uh, also ways of finding, you know, the over 18 stuff on, on uh, Cody also. So they're available. Just got to look for them. I'm not going to show you how here. That would be uh, wrong, wouldn't it? <laughs> Meanwhile, let's watch some uh, homoerotic Batman and Robin fighting. How's that? <laughs> or not. Who knows if this thing's going to come up. I'm getting a little burnt out myself here. I hear my yawning. Yeah, I think I might be wrapping this up here. If this doesn't come on soon. Anyway, you like it, you'll love it. This is Cody, ladies and gentlemen. Have fun with this. Bye-bye.